Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're jigging for king salmon on Lake Michigan out of Milwaukee. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh awesome. my god. Yes, folks, something magical happens along the shoreline of Lake Michigan in September and October. And what it is, is the four-year-old king salmon come back to spawn and die. And for people with small boats or shore fishermen, this is the deal. You've caught them before. Oh, absolutely. And the fight is tremendous. It is a lot, a lot of fun. And Caleb, you know, let's go from Kenosha all the way to where? All the way to Sturgeon Bay, John. Well, name some of the harbors. You know, you got Sheboygan. We'll work our way down Sheboygan, Fort Washington, Milwaukee, you know, Racine, Kenosha. You know, they're, they're starting to, you know, with these winds that we're having, these fish are starting to trickle back in slowly to where they were actually introduced. And it gives a lot of people opportunity, the shore guys and the guys with the small boats, like you said, to target these real big fish. Great opportunity, folks, if you have a small boat to get out and do this, because a lot of times it's too rough to get out there, but in the harbors, it's usually tolerable for the smaller boats. Yeah, especially, you know, like the harbors we named off, they're just kind of enclosed and they protect you, so. All right, we're going to catch something? Oh, yeah. Hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. It's time to save big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event. With as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings. Then, let's ride. What's really interesting, folks, about running a camp in the sticks or in the bushes, you guys call it up here, you need to rely on your machines, boats, trucks, everything. And you're a firm believer in Amsoil? I wouldn't get anything else. I, we've run that product for the last four and a half years, and what a difference on our equipment. And you got to remember, John, the boats, the motors, our trucks, they're not just running two days a week. They're running seven days a week full out high performance and with that new quick shot, I love throwing that in our fuel, the oil, no breakdown, best product by far. Welcome back, folks. As I mentioned, we're jigging for king salmon, or some people call them Chinook salmon, off of Milwaukee on Lake Michigan. And as I mentioned at the top of the program, this is the time of year when the salmon move in to spawn. They lay their eggs in their dye. But for the next six, eight weeks, folks, you can come down here and have a ball catching trophy fish. And what we're doing is using the spot lock on the Minkota to keep us stationary, and we're vertical jigging off the side of the boat. And what I'm going to start out with is a Kalen's Jerk Minnow. I like this pearl color on Lake Michigan. And since we're fishing in about 30, 35 feet of water, I've got a 3 8 ounce jig head on there. And uh, Caleb, you like to vary it. So what are you throwing, buddy? Got a Castmaster on, John. Old reliable. You know, the green glow, you can never go wrong with it, with it this time of year. Now I know that, uh, and you know, there are decent hooks on there, but for these big fish, you took an Eagle Claw number one hook and replaced the hook. Yep, I beefed up the hook a little bit and it was, uh, like you said, number one Eagle Claw. Oh, I got one on here, Caleb. I got one on, buddy. Oh, that's Trey. He's moving too fast. Go after him with the bow mount. Oh, go, go after him, buddy. Go after him, man. Holy cow, look at that go. Look at that go. Wow. Caleb, go after him, buddy. We're going, we're moving, Okay, John. yeah, because I've only got 12 pound test on here, buddy. Okay, okay. There yeah, remember, as quick as he swam away, he'll come right at I you. I know, I know, I know. 
How 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 should I have that drag? You got it set just right. Whoa! Let him run. Whoa! Go after him, Caleb. Okay, <laughs> bud. Okay, man. Wow, that was a cool hit, buddy. I just put a jerk minnow on too. Wow, this is amazing, folks. Just sheer power. Just sheer power. Whoa, he's on this side, Caleb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, this is, I gotta sit down for a minute, man. Whoa. Look at that, look at that rod, folks. Caleb, what do I do here, buddy? John, you're, that fish is gonna sit there. And yeah. Make you work for it. You gotta tire him out. Holy we cow, got look tackle. at that. He's staying right down. He wow. makes big runs on you. Holy cow. I mean, you gotta be in good shape to do this. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Look at that rod bend right in half. Holy cow. How long do these fights last, dude? Yeah, yeah this fight, you know, there's a lot of big fish around. This fight could last 10, 15 minutes easily Seriously? with this light tackle that we have. Should we turn that camera off for a second or what? I, I think so. You got some time with him. Turn that camera off for a couple, minute, fo couple minutes, folks. Here he is, here he is. I don't want to miss him, buddy. Get him, buddy. I'll pump one more time. One more. Whoa. Hang on, gentlemen. Whoa, there he goes. There he oh, goes. No. Holy cow. He just, he saw that net, folks, and took another run. Another run. Okay, buddy. Here's the leader. Whoa, there he goes. Okay, here he comes, Caleb. I think he's tired. Whoa. Oh, just no. when you think he's tired. That's the third run, buddy. That's the third run. Here's the leader. Oh, yes! Oh, my gosh! Oh. John, did we work uh -oh. for that one? Dude, I'm telling you, man. That is, that, I've never felt that kind of power before. I mean, that is unbelievable. And I'm using, you know, a seven foot medium fast action rod. And uh, I mean, it's a walleye rod, but it's fun to catch them like that. And how big you figure that one is? About 17, John. Beautiful fish. And now this is still quite edible. Oh yeah, big time. And you know, and I want to point something out. You know, we've been marking a lot of fish this afternoon. If you look right here, that's right where you had your jig. He came up and he just nipped at it. Yeah, right. And I, uh, as I told you, that was a, a Kalen's pearl-colored jig with a three, well, three eighths ounce jig head. Nice. And that job. was I had just put that on too. You, you know. Guys, watch it just tie it up, and we're still ripping big spoons up front. So what does this tell you? Now this is where 4:20 in the afternoon, and we should be in a prime bite now. It's gonna start to get good out here. Hold that out one more time. Nice job, Blake. You gotta get one of these. I mean, that's exciting. I'll tell you what, folks, I gotta sit and rest after catching that big fish. I mean, they are just so powerful. But as we mentioned before, what we're doing is vertical jigging. And uh, I've got that, uh, that Kalen's jerk minnow on. I let it go to the bottom and I rip up like that. Let it go to the bottom again and rip up like that. And uh, all right, let me see what you're doing with the cast masters there, you guys. John, I'm just vertical jigging it, like you said. Big rips, you know, three, four foot rips. Letting it go back down. A lot of people make the mistake, too, of ripping it too fast. You gotta remember, when you make that rip and it's 30 feet down, that lure's still down there swinging. So let it sit. A lot of times those fish will come up and nip right at it. So do the bites usually come on the fall? They'll come on the fall or when it hits, any, you get them on the pause when it's actually sitting there almost swinging like a pendulum. Hey, here we go, right by the side of the boat. I was just reeling this in. I was just reeling this in. What do we got here? That is not a salmon. What do we got here, buddy? I'll just flip them in for you. It is a Should salmon. Work? It's a coal. That's a coho salmon? Good eater right that there. That is a delicious eater. Tell the folks, though, how good those are, buddy. Coho salmon are truly the best. I mean, I for me, I like the cohos better than the kings. And to be this is this is probably a mature fish, John. This is probably pull them a, out real nice and tell, explain yeah. to the folks. This is a three-year-old fish. Really? That's small. Yep, yep, that's small. This fish was coming in here to spawn also. Now I want to tell the folks I've eaten coho with you many times. Yep. They call them the candy of Lake Michigan because they are so delicious, right? They are. This one we're keeping here.
Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $40 on the Frog Togs Amphib Neoprene Waders on sale for $99.99. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a few hours since our last fish, and Neon Dion's got one on. Right. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. I'll tell you what, folks. Blake, get next to Neon there. <laughs> Neon the Neon. He just absolutely hammered it. Oh, really? You hit it hard? Absolutely. What do you got on? I got a white stick spoon on right now. Okay, well, don't lose this fish, buddy. I know, I know. We need this guy. Okay, we're going to go after him with the bow mount. That's the thing with these fish, folks. They control you, right? Yeah, they will take you wherever they want to go. I mean, you got to let the fish do what he wants to do. When he's running, you got to let him go. All right, buddy. Well, just hang on. That is something. Look at him peeling line, man. That's incredible. Well, Caleb, you said to stick it out, right? The late afternoon's the deal, huh, buddy? Hey, John, and you know what we said before, when you caught yours, there were a ton of fish around. Right. I looked at the graph, and there was probably seven, eight fish all darting around. He hooked up, and I got Jake, our Blake, jigging again because we could double up really could, Yeah, that's the thing when they travel in groups, right? Big time, yep. How you doing there, Dion? Oh, I'm just loving it. Are you, buddy? Every second of it. Oh, look at that. Now, you run a big charter boat for a living, trolling. That's Is right. Is this more exciting? Oh, so much better on the spinning tackle. I mean, don't get me wrong. A king anywhere, no matter how you can catch it, is just great fun. But on the spinning tackle, especially jigging spoons like this, it doesn't get any better. Hey, Caleb, have you seen him? Not yet, but he's coming up pretty fast now, John. You just got to tire him out, huh? Yeah, like we said before, you're going to let that fish is going to work you for quite some time. Wow, it is amazing. And that's the cool thing, folks. If oh. You have a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, get him in there, get him oh. in there. What a platypus. Oh, my God. Hey, Neon Dion. <laughs> now, I was teasing you before because you lost one. I did, I did. I can't lie. All right, Caleb, you got to hold this thing yeah. up. That's a sow, buddy. Isn't that gorgeous? That is awesome. Now, what do you recommend for folks to smoke them this time of year? You know, you can smoke these. This fish is actually pretty dark right now. But yeah, I mean, I would put this one in the smoker. But there's definitely plenty of chrome fish still showing up. We're early. Now, is that some male? This is a male, John. Now, yep. Show the folks how you can tell. You know, you can start to see he's going to grow that kipe right there, those two front teeth. It's gonna is is these fish get in the harbors and you know the the weeks go on they'll they'll get in the spawning mode and they'll grow grow like a hook jaw. Now we talked before about how old these fish are, but what's the life cycle of a salmon? They plant them in in, in these areas, right? Yep, they're the king salmon are four years and the coho salmon are uh, three years. So they plant them as little teeny fish. Yep, little. And they always return to where they were planted. Yep, they always come back to the same port where you put them in at. Uh, that is incredible. Hey, Dion. Yep. Is that your favorite of the year so far? Oh, yeah, definitely. Best fish of the year so far. We were fishing Lake Michigan out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a zero hour drive from Milwaukee, one and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA, and they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. Amazing. Nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when when steering. A spot lock, man, second to none. Game changer. A game changer. Game changer. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of the lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. Bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Bait Mate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. Hey, Caleb, when you're fishing in the gaps, whether it be Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, any of the harbors, and you got a barge coming through, 
Whose responsibility is it? Do we have to move or do they move? Oh no, we have to get out of their way, John. You know, we're, we're here with the spot lock, we're anchored. Any other, you know, even small boats, smaller boats than us that are going under power, we have to get out of their way. Neon, Neon, two in a row. We're just about to go in. And now we may have a slight problem here. We got a big ship coming and we're in the middle of the gap. What are we gonna do here, Caleb? John, we're gonna get away from the ship and fight the fish off to the side. Okay. Hey, Neon Dion, what do you think there, buddy? Gosh, I mean, what can you say? What can I say? No, that is awesome. And now, folks, as the boat's swinging, you can see that big ship coming, and we're gonna have to get out of the way. Wow, look at the battle here, buddy. Ooh, ooh oh, whoa, sure. look at that rod. He does not like the boat. Holy Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, gosh. look at the size of that Slobosaurus, big butt king Chinook salmon. Barely Holy look. cow. Right now there you guys go. Hey, how big is that? Oh my god. Yeah, I have no idea, Jack. Seriously, is that pushing? Hey, Neon Dion, is that pushing 30? That yeah. is definitely pushing 30. Look how tall he is, and he's just thick. Oh man. my gosh, that is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my right. gosh. What happened? Did he just all of a sudden come up? Johnny, like, gave up right there, and I didn't, I had to stick the net in the water. Yep. I was not going to let, as soon as I netted him, the hook popped out. Oh. fit in the net. <laughs> Hey, you know what is so cool, though, guys, is we're going to come back tomorrow and uh, finish this show up. Yep. But I mean, for, for folks to come out and have an opportunity to do this, and there's a lot of time left, right? There is, John. This is just the beginning. So and we're goes. talking, you know, five to six weeks easily. And then you guys can get them on skiing and bobbers, too. Yep, big time. Hey, Neon. That is, that's that's that a beautiful trophy. fish, that is buddy. A beautiful fish. Holy oh cow. God. Look at, hold them out one more. Can you hold I'm, I'm getting tired. Yeah, yeah. My arm's tired for real in a minute. Hey, that's a big male. You can see the kite coming. Yep. And, uh, He's getting his teeth here. What do you, what do you figure, Dion, really? He's got to be 29, 30. I, He's right there with them. That's amazing. And He's there goes, such a uh, tall hey you guys, there goes <laughs> that big right old freighter behind us. <laughs> We're out for another evening of Chinook salmon fishing on Lake Michigan, folks. And actually, Caleb and uh, Dion got that fish weighed last night that we caught 33.7 pounds. So we're hoping to duplicate that again today. We have another guest with us today. This is Jess, and you are Caleb's girlfriend. Are you sure you're his girlfriend? Shockingly, yes. No. <laughs> and you're gonna catch a salmon for us today, yep. right? Oh yeah. Hey, these are fun, man. We got a that was a super big one last night, wasn't it? Huge. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Blake, what do you got on there? I got a fish, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that do you think that's a king, Caleb? Uh I don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. It's a king, Blake. It's a <laughs> there king, we Blake. go. All right, here How's we go. Is my drag okay? Yeah, I checked him. Watch the trolling motor, Blake. Well, we didn't have to wait that long. We just got out going? here today. Yeah, go right up and over. Go. Okay, Blake. Okay, Blake. Oh, my God. Okay, Caleb, step back so we can see Blake battling there, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you what were you using, Blake? Castmaster. All right. I'm glad I got one on because yesterday was a long day, but I haven't gotten her in yet. Oh. oh. He just, well, what did he rip off there, Caleb? Uh, I don't know, John, he's ripping a, hold the rod up, Blake, because there's rocks over there. Get it up, 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 up. Yeah, gotta keep away from yeah. those rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's up, a fun deal, isn't it? Up, up, there we go. Now he's coming at you. All right, she seems to be swimming towards us, so that's a good sign, I think. Well, I still haven't seen him yet. No, still digging. All right, up, we're going on the other up side. Up and over, wherever the fish wants to go. <laughs> yep. The, the nice thing is we're in deep water, so you can fight him pretty easy, you know? Uh, I wouldn't say this is easy. Oh. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Look at, how, look at how silver that one is, Caleb. Woo. Woo. What a fatty. <laughs> but no, that, that, now that one, Blake, you could eat. <sighs> like that right now? really good <laughs> Nice job. Hey, how's that fight? 
<laughs> it is one of a kind. <sighs> what a beauty. Wow. Now, Caleb, that is a very silver fish. What does that mean? This fish is pretty fresh to the harbor. You know, it probably came in maybe even last night with that uh, south wind that we had. The water cooled off about two to three degrees since uh, yesterday afternoon, but this is a beautiful fish. Nice how much, job. How much do you think she weighs? This fish is probably 24 pounds easily. Wow. Now you could eat that Shake one with it. no oh, reserve. Big time. Yeah, put this thing on the grill. Oh, yum. Wow, that fight was, <laughs> like I said yesterday, all day, eight hours, all day, nothing. Yeah. Came out with a positive attitude. Five minutes in, I got her. Well, taking a break from fishing, I wanted to make my friends a Johnsonville sandwich. Today, I'm using the Johnsonville summer sausage. We love the original and the garlic. Not only can you make great sandwiches with, with the summer sausage, you can have them for tailgates, for football season, for any party, really. All right, guys, take a bite. Just delicious. Made with premium pork. Absolutely. How good. You like it? In the spot. <laughs> Johnsonville Summer Sausage. Find them at your favorite retailer today. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. So I notice you're wearing blackfish just like me. Yes. What do you like about the blackfish gear? Well, I'm on the water 200 yeah. days a year easy, and I hate putting sunscreen on all the time. Me too. <laughs> with the UPF protection of the blackfish gear, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't have to screw around with the, the sunscreen or anything mm -hmm. like that. I'm protected all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about skin cancer or anything else that us fishing guides get. It, and it probably keeps you cool all day long. It does. Yeah. It, you know, it's just a very nice, cool feeling. And guess what? It's chemical free. So as many times as you wash it, you will still get protected. For more information, go to blackfishgear.com. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. John Lewis of Horace, North Dakota, caught this 15-inch crappie on Consolidated Lake on a swim bait. Marae Feynman of Austin, Minnesota, caught this beautiful 43-inch northern on Fountain Lake on a shad minnow. Ben Pritchett of Wausau caught this 23-inch largemouth on Lake Wausau on a frog. Josh Shar of Marshfield boated this 30-inch walleye on the Bay of Green Bay on a nightcrawler. And this week's kids winners are Zeth Zastro of Iron Ridge caught this 10-pound catfish on the Rock River on a hot dog. And Jenna Split of Cary, Illinois caught this 23-inch largemouth on Buckskin Lake on a tube. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. 20% off the Mountain Prairie Waterfall apparel and accessories on sale starting at $23.99. And save $50 on the Stealth Cam 3-pack trail cameras on sale for $99.99. Oh, look at that. Neon Neon is going to end our evening with a big fish, I oh, hope. All right. I All right, so Neon. Good. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh my, God. my gosh. <laughs> that that thing just came out of the water about six feet, buddy. So that far that is a big <laughs> fish, man. Wow. He came Neon. Did just you? rocketing in on the screen. I seen him, and by the time I looked up at my rod, he was there. That is cool. What's that on? This is uh, just a white stick spoon. Just a white stick spoon. Wow, I buddy, look at that. a little bit that. of everything today. We caught the one earlier on the Cast Master, and uh, I stuck it out with this one. Hey, tell the folks that haven't done this before how cool this is. I mean, it's like nothing else. It really is. I think I've said that before, but there's no other freshwater fish that fights like this, takes these kind of runs. Whoa, you got to put your rod. Look at that. Look at that, folks. You got to be as careful. I said, as I said before, just sheer power, buddy. These fish will take you wherever they want. And when they go beneath the boat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Not in the clamoroo there. What? That's another Slavosaurus, dude. That is, yeah, that is another big around. jumbo. Hey, the one you caught last night, buddy, are you going to get that mounted? Yes, he's definitely going on the wall. And again, the weight on that one last night? Yeah, it was uh, 
right around 33.75. Wow, look at this <laughs> thing though, man. Holy like, crap, that's hey, a big one too. Caleb, that is awesome, buddy. Sean, this is just spectacular. And I want to mention you, you're doing a lot of guidance for this, and we're, this is just starting. And actually, this fishing gets easier as we get later in September, it right? It does, John. Yeah, these fish, I mean, you can see we've had to work for them, you know, the last day and a half, but when you get to bite, it's well worth it. And normally when folks come out on the skein bite or the bobber bite, you catch these big fish on bobbers, you average a lot more a day, right? Oh, God, yeah. And, you know, it, it's just going to get better as the weeks go on. Well, how many fish a day is a good day in the skein bite? Oh, at least a dozen, 15, wow. yeah. Well, that's special. Hey, Neon Dion, I'm glad you came with us, buddy. Thanks, thanks for having me, John. It's been an absolute blast. Anytime I can get out here and catch fish like this, I'll be there. Well, you're welcome anytime. You saved the show. Oh, all right. Thank you. Caleb Zorn guides the Wisconsin waters of Lake Michigan. For more information, give Caleb a call. That phone number is 262-515-7944. Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Johnson pump wash down kit to clean up after my messy dad. What'd you say, Blake? Oh, dad. I use my Johnson pump wash down kit to clean my dock and my pontoon. I use my Johnson pump to get the boat ready for tomorrow's client. Learn about the many uses of the Johnson pump wash down at getjohnsonpumped.com. Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Truly some of the most exciting fishing that you can find in North America, right? Absolutely. Super close to Chicago, Minnesota, and obviously Milwaukee. It's one of a kind. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Blake Gillespie. And I'm John Gillespie, <laughs> hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Hey, 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 John Gillespie.